So if you're here, it probably means you have a picky blue tongue and you're not alone because many people's blue tongue skinks don't like certain foods, but some are really important for them to eat so they can stay healthy. Uh, one of the most popular would probably be leafy greens, simply because it doesn't taste very good to them. But this should be about 40 to 50% of your lizard's diet, uh, depending on their age. So it's really important that they get that into them. Maybe they don't like their proteins, I'd be kind of surprised, but that's possible. Uh, and maybe they don't like their veggies, but you should be able to use these tricks no matter what they refuse to eat. And Olive, my blue tongue skink, uh, she really just refuses leafy greens. I've got some right here. As you can see, this is collard green. And she might bite onto it, but once she realizes that it doesn't taste good, she's just gonna let go and she won't even give it a chance. Come on. Oop, she bit it. Okay, and she gave up. So the first thing you need to do in order to get your skink eating what they like is find foods that they really enjoy. There has to be something, whether it's maybe it's mealworms or maybe it's a fruit. For example, olive. Okay, ready? Here you go. Here. Olive loves her blueberries and her strawberries, and that's what I've got here. I'm going to be using that. She also really loves her mealworms. I can give her a mealworm to show you. So as you can see, she really likes that. And again, she just really refuses the collard greens. So the first thing we're going to do is mix in some fruit. Now what I want to do is first cut this up, and I'm going to put olive aside just so she doesn't get in the way of the knife or anything. And I'm going to go ahead and just cut this fruit up into small bite-sized pieces for the blue tongue. I've got a strawberry here and a blueberry. Now what you need to keep in mind is fruit is not very healthy. It is good for them to have about 10% fruit in their diet, uh, and I only give it to her once a week. But using that one day a week is a good way to get quite a bit of greens in, into her. So what I'll do is I'm just going to take some greens and really just sprinkle it in to this tasty fruit that she'll like. I'm gonna cut it up just a bit more and really mush it all up into a nice little salad or smoothie, whatever you wanna call it. I'm not gonna give it all to her right now so I can show you the second technique too, but I think this will be good right here. So I pre-cut these greens so that they're nice and bite-sized and she really can't avoid them while eating the other food. I'll get olive now. And I'm gonna put this food right here. Let's see if she goes for it. It's a bit cold, hopefully she doesn't mind that. All right, so she took the blueberry and used the back end of the knife just to help her so it doesn't slide around. As you can see, she's just eating all of that up and that strawberry, blueberry, and the not so tasty collard greens, but I don't, I don't think she really even notices. And even if she does, I guess she thinks it's worth it to eat the fruit. So this might work for your blue tongue with basically mixing it in with some of their favorite fruits. Again, fruit's not too nutritious and you don't want it to give it to them too often. So it's better to try and mix this in with the proteins. But this can be a bit harder because it doesn't stick to the actual protein, whether that's mealworms or whatever kind of feeder insect or uh, other meat that you're using to feed your blue tongue. So while she finishes that off, we can prepare the next little meal. And that will be with mealworms. I'm gonna do it with this little dish right here. As you saw, she loved the mealworms. So I usually measure out more exactly what she's eating, but it's fine for this. So I'm also gonna put a supplement into this. Uh, now supplements can be really important for your blue tongue because that's how they get a lot of their vitamins and calcium when they can't naturally get it. So what I've got here is Repti Calcium without D3 and then Herptivite. Now this is a multivitamin and then this is just calcium. What I do is I give her calcium two times a week and then this one time a week, I feed her three times a week. So today is her multivitamin day because that's what I give her with the fruit. I don't usually give her mealworms on this day, but I'm going to to show you this. And I'm going to put some of the multivitamin and sprinkle it on to the mealworms. So now we've got her multivitamin covered and she's gonna get that while she eats one of her other favorite foods. The second thing we're gonna do is add the collard greens. Now, as I said, it's not gonna stick. So I found one good way of getting it to stick is by adding a little bit of water. So I'm just going to put a little bit of water. You don't have to use a spray bottle or anything. But just like that, that's going to help the collard greens stick to the mealworms. And she just finished up her fruit. Let's see if she has space for the second part right here. So as you can see, she just bit just collard greens, I think because she's aiming for the mealworms. I wouldn't be surprised if she spit that out, but she actually, it looks like she actually finished it. So what enticed her to eat that was the mealworms in there. And now she's going for the mealworms but she'll be able to eat all of this together. So she's really enjoying her second course right there, and I'll let her finish that up 
and put this away. So those are two of the ways that I've found that you can really get blue tongues to eat those foods that they otherwise won't eat. No matter what it is, the main things you should just try and do is make those portions or little bits as small as possible so they can't avoid it. If I put, say, like a large part of a leaf in here, maybe like this, if she actually liked green, she would eat this. But if this is in here, she can easily just spit that out and then go towards the mealworms instead. So you wanna kinda just really mix it in there so they really don't notice it. So if you're still having trouble and you just can't find anything your blue tongue seems to like, you probably just haven't tried enough foods yet. You can try all sorts of different fruits and veggies and proteins and, and greens even. Uh, and I found this cool feeding chart that has tons of different foods that are healthy for them. And she can't get that mealworm right there. But yeah, what I found is pretty simple. <laughs> so hopefully this will work out for you. So my example was with a blue tongue, but you can of course do this with other lizards that need different types of foods also, whether that's a Euromastix or a bearded dragon or other animals that need a, a varied diet. But that's it for this video on how to get your lizard to eat some of those foods that they otherwise refuse. Hopefully it helped out. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I'm Alex and thanks for watching.